there are people in my greenhouse. Good morning, flower friends. I'm gonna shut off my fan so it's not so loud down here. I'm in my basement grow room and I'm gonna water my plants before I head to the nursery. It's shortly before seven o'clock. I wanna to get to the nursery by 7.30. Uh, I have to water everything there this morning. It's not just show up and open the door. It's, I still have to take care of all the baby plants. I'm still having aphid issues down here. I'm still squishing on the daily, but this plant's still, I mean, you, you never tell that these are covered in aphids. They're, they're covered. So everything is surviving and I'm just continuing my method of squishing and squishing. And I have these little yellow sticky traps everywhere. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Um, anyway, I'm just going to give everything a quick drink, do some squishing, and then I'm headed to the nursery for open house day. I have two helpers coming on Monday and our plans are to plant the rest of the hoop house with these beauties. Okay, I'm here. I kind of want to move the shop back, turn the lights on with my elbow. Ooh. Okay, I've got to open that door. Still don't have a doorknob. Put my mannequins where I want them. Everything's looking so cute. Got to get rid of that little Tupperware thing just for housekeeping. And then I've got to water everything. Actually, two things need to be watered. All the plants and my coffee pot. Let's start with that. <laughs> Everything's looking great this morning. I have to turn the drip irrigation on for just a few minutes. This fan's going to come down too so nobody hits their head. And I have to move the hose. Guys, the sun is starting to peek out. Oh my gosh. I really hope it stays. I was up since four o'clock this morning. There is no gutter on the front of the entrance here. And at four o'clock this morning, I woke up and go, oh, okay, how do I take a PVC pipe, turn it into a gutter, staple it to the front of the thing? I was like thinking about how I can make a gutter temporarily for open house. And uh, everything is just, I watered last night so I wouldn't have to water everything on the tables here this morning. Um, it's a little off my routine, but I wanted everything to look fresh and perky for uh, the audience that it's receiving today. Um, yeah, everything does look fresh and perky. <sighs> I think I might replace some of the bug cards. I had the yellow sticky tapes. So I might put some fresh ones on there um, and then move on to house number two and water in there. Everything looks great in here. Sun on succulents. Yes, please. Look how cute. My sister and her coworker Amy made these little succulent care cards. They're just a heavier piece of paper with just some tips and tricks for taking care of succulents. She made she made a few hundred of them, so I'm really excited and that was awesome. They did an amazing job. Herb gardens are looking fresh. Like seriously, fresh. I want to eat this basil. In fact, I pinched a couple the other day and I did eat the basil. Mm, so we've got some Flower Hill Farm mugs. I have a few calendars left over. This is all I have left. And then I have my um, amazing tumblers. This, this is all from the company except for the calendars. This is all from AMP Master Images out of Utica, New York. They are my merchandise. They do all of my hoodies and all of my merch. They have a laser cutter printer thingy, my bobber. Um, anyway, they're amazing, and I know you guys, in some of my other videos, I wear hoodies that are worn out. Those were from a previous company, and these ones have longevity. I still wear the ones that are faded because I don't like to waste clothes, so I wear those when I'm painting or doing dirty projects and stuff, so a lot of you guys are like, oh, good to know your merch doesn't hold up. Well, that was my former merch, not this one. Botanical interest seeds. I have the Northeast collection, but also the Sunflower collection, and then the Cut Flower collection down the edge here. Um, beautiful things. Oh, tomatoes. Time to start your tomatoes and peppers. For us, anyway. Our last frost date is end of May. So far this morning, I've gotten water all over me, and I just dribbled coffee all over my face. That's pretty typical, so it's going to be a good day. And I wore my favorite shirt. I just wet my plants. All right, so I've got to go in number three, get my tripod, set it up because I want to get people here. We have a couple of special guests coming. I'm really excited about that. Um, my sister's going to be running register because I'm going to kind of be mingling and talking and answering questions and just being a chatty, chatty Kathy. And that's about, that's the plan. That's the plan. But I'm going to go get my tripod in number three, set up my big camera. Should be 
Should be a pretty good day. I was really worried about this storm, but it looks like the sun's out and that means people are more likely to leave their house. So we'll see. Here's something I wanted to show you guys. These are the Proven Winners, basically shrubs that I purchased last summer. I got them in in June. It was a huge amount and they've been sitting outside uncovered in the snow at my house. About a month ago, those looked like this. I grabbed them from the yard, brought them here, and they've been growing in here for about a month. And this is what they look like. This is a nine bark, this is a hydrangea. And these, I just pulled out two days ago. So a month from now, these should look like this. And now they'll be ready for sales. It looks dead, but look, all of those little buds on every single stem, they're gonna burst into life after being exposed to the warmth in here. This one is a little lime. This is an incredible. And this is a summer wine, nine bark. And over here, I think I got a quick fire fab. And who are you? Ah, uh, this is a Wigalia, a Sonic Bloom Pearl. I have 18, I think, of each one of these. And I have a few more varieties as well. I know I have another nine bark and I think another Wigalia. Hi. Evangeline. Evangeline. Say hi to oh, Papa. Say hi, Gigi. <laughs> yeah. I love you with that cat. Look at, Look at her. Donuts, huh? That's a special cat. Though, and I don't like cats. She's a baby. I get one like that. No. I love you. I love you. Look how beautiful. Um, we never did solve that. Evie. On the other side of her house, so she went in those woods. She's nervous. Renee's not stopping. She's so nope. My mom's out there sweeping. There you go. It's Papa's perch. <laughs> they come in, first thing they see. You don't scare them away. <laughs> Kiki. That cat from Karen. It's beautiful. Oh, my God. You really had to know what it looked like before to appreciate. I uh -huh. uh, Nicole, your first dollar for your new business. My first dollar. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We got to write on it. Let me get a marker. Grandma used to write birthday cards all personalized with poems, and I'm not, no pressure, Graham. <laughs> I'm <getting> nothing <laughs> ready. Yeah, and you used to get oh. exact money for your. We did until I was, I think 23 was the last year that I got 20, I got $23. Oh, thank you. It's 9.59. People are already coming to the door, so we better open. So, don't push them away. Okay. Is there a sign in that window to turn it around? Yeah. Yes. There you go. Protecting the back entrance, are we? <laughs> and making sure everyone watches their stuff. You're gonna stay here all summer long? No. Watch your step. Watch your step. There are people in my greenhouse. Ah! Yeah, tic tac toe. I saw you say hi to that little baby. And when you came in, Kathy, no wonder you said hi to her. She's pretty. Look at him. <laughs> I just want to tell you, Nicole, that I never thought that I'd ever want to live in a greenhouse. But it's so exciting here today, watching all these people enjoying your flowers that I'm going to probably move into a greenhouse. I told you, you can hang out in the barn in the back. Yeah. I'll put a bed in for you. Gladly. Okay. As long, as long as you don't charge me too much. No rent, no rent, just electric. Listen, I don't think you've got any more of these plants. I can leave this. No, I, it's okay. All right, somebody's in trouble. 
broccoli tag. No cab, she needs one. Yeah, I know. I gotta get more. these tables these tables look really good really oh, was that was that you it was you i was one of three i believe one of three. Oh, i got a cute boy on my camera we're still doing work doing work putting in covers right here two handsome guys and happy birthday to Stacy. She drove out here from a few hours away. That's what I'm looking at it right now. It's so freaking Is that okay? Can Grandpa stay here? Sure, as long as he pays rent. <laughs> <laughs> There's my mom. She's taking him. Thank you. I love you. We did good today. Mm -hmm. I love you too. <laughs> Three twenty-three. It's the first time that nobody's been here. That's amazing. It's the next morning, day two of open house, and it took a little bit for my brain to kind of grasp yesterday and how awesome it felt to finally share what I've been sharing virtually. It's so different when you're sharing something virtually than to actually have someone come in and physically experience the magic. And that was the first time yesterday. This space went from my secret garden, open to the public and experience it for yourself. And they did. We had hundreds of visitors from all over New York state and beyond. So many flower friends drove hours to come here and grandpa, he held court on that bench. That's Papa's perch. A lot of people recognized him from the videos, so he got a kick out of that, and he loves hearing from you guys all the time. It was such a good day. Sold a lot of succulents. This is all that I have left. More than, I would say 70% of the succulents sold. I had 25 of those herb pots. I have six left, and so which is good, because I was afraid that they were all gonna sell out yesterday, which would have left nothing for today, because today is day two. A lot of merch was moved, which was really good. I have so much more, some seeds, I think. I didn't, I didn't run out of any seeds, I don't think, uh, but a lot of sunflowers went and a lot of vegetables were going too, but mostly flower seeds. People really were into the flower seeds, which is good. Well, I've got some stuff to do to prep for day two. I'm here, I mean, not by myself today, but I'm kind of here by myself today. My grandparents aren't coming, my mom's not coming, my sister's not coming. It's just gonna be me and if my aunt and my mother-in-law show up, that's a bonus, um, but yeah, that's it. So yesterday was kind of a big day. I don't expect a similar size crowd today. I expect a much smaller crowd. Sundays are always a little calmer here. At least that's what I experienced back in the fall during mom season. All right, guys, I am, I am so tired. I didn't sleep huh, because I gotta be honest with you. I, okay, so some good news and then some oh no news. I got home last night and because it was so warm yesterday, all of the snow was melted. So I got out of the car, I sprinted over to my tulips to see, and yay, the tulips are emerging, poking up through the soil into the earth, and you can see the little tiny heads poking up out of the soil, so excited. So then I sprinted oh, the other way over to the daffodil patch. The daffodils are poking up through, very, very, very excited. And then I go, oh my God, oh no, because it was 60 something degrees out and sunny, and I had not opened the hoop house. I hadn't vented it. And I was terrified to unzip the, the hoop house, but I did. And it's not good. The vernunculus basically cooked in there. It cooked. Oh gosh. But I think it's gonna be okay. Some of it's bad. Like I would say 20% of it, no chance of coming back. It's fried to a crisp. But the rest of it's still green, just needs to be watered. All right. I gotta go, gotta get ready, gotta finish this video. I wanna get it posted for you guys before we open this morning. Uh, and that's that. So thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon.